think it's a challenge for the finance industry to actually demonstrate with clarity what's been done with real-world impact. Because um, when we talk about achieving net zero, um, we heard this morning from Tarek, you know, divestment, for example, is not really the answer. You could divest pretty quickly and have a low-carbon portfolio, and it looks great. It has a temperature score of 1.5 degrees, and you actually haven't moved anything forward in terms of real-world impact. We know, and we've heard earlier, that capital needs to go into emerging markets. These are some of the real, uh, the real-world challenges around actually demonstrating. There's a lot of confusion in terms of terminology, I think, in the so industry. Would you, would you know what impact Aberdeen was having in, in what it was doing? Or is it just impossible to know? That really depends. So for some funds, there's a lot of work going in. We've got a specific yeah. impact fund. A lot of work and hours going into analysing the impact because the data is just not there. So therefore, this strive in the industry to just have a really simple number and transparency like a temperature number and portfolio alignment, that's a big thing that GFANS is focused on, is a concern that this could really uh, backfire and be misleading because the methodologies aren't mature enough yet. And so there is so much misunderstanding in the industry around what actually some of these terms mean, impact, sustainable outcomes, ESG integration which can then lead to accusations of greenwashing. Because what you don't see in a simple fund report is maybe the act of ownership that's happening, the voting, um, the policy advocacy uh, that investors are doing, the whole package that is really needed for real-world incomes. So